making sure we're going live. We should be. There we are. Hi, everyone. This is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. Today, today is August 26. And we're doing a live stream open discussion on our collapsing centralized education systems in the Western world. And uh, pretty important topic, actually, very important topic, uh, because it's related to everything. Our kitty cats are having a little disagreement. So you might hear them in the background going at each other <laughs> their testosterones are kicking in i don't know while well, they're boys i don't know if it's testosterone for kitty cats or not but uh they are basically becoming teenagers and uh the teenage period is a crazy period with hormones kicking in and whatnot so um there's a lot of chaos there and it's related to our centralized education because it's important uh to make sure uh, we provide the best education possible for our children, right? For future generations. Uh, so that's what the topic of discussion is today. Laugh out loud box. Hello, looking forward to the stream. Me too, me too, me too. It's an important topic, like really crazy important. Um, the state of the world, one of the reasons that we are in the state that we're in is due to centralized education so much so that in france they have actually in the last few months made it illegal for people to homeschool cheryl thank you very much for the tier one sub 15 months in a row <laughs> is that how long you've been a sub as well uh mod as well i can't remember i can't remember but also also thank you thank you cheryl uh, I, I got a lot to learn. Uh, laugh out lot box. We all do. We all do. Sleepy waves. Chicho. Day two. It's lit. I missed having the regular streams. Yeah, sleepy waves. Uh, I've been crazy busy. Crazy busy. There's a lot going on, and uh, I am trying to keep on top of uh, what's happening on the political front, economic front, and. Uh, I sort of wanted to take out the segments, some segments that we're doing during the live streams and having those available because we can't load the whole thing on sensor tube and whatnot. And it's good to have little short segments. People have been, some people like them, some people don't like them. It does take me time to do it. So slow down on the live streams, but we will be doing more uh, once I get out what I need to get out, right? Scooty, how are you doing? Boop, doop, choo. <laughs> Welcome, welcome. Big uh Bigolubin. Bigolubin? Bigolubin. Bigolubin. G Pato 28. <laughs> I can't pronounce it. I don't know where the breaks are. Hey Chicho. First ever stream. Looking forward to the conversation. Awesome. Glad to have you, 28. Big ol' Big old Ben. Big old Benji. Big old Benji. Is that what it is? Big old Benji? Is that how you say it? Cheryl, no sub before then. Actually, it started the night of the DJ stream. Ah, did it? Awesome, awesome. The DJ stream, man. I'm so sad that Twitch brought on those new regulations that copyright music and stuff like that. It means we can't have gathering. And just imagine they brought it out during a time of pandemic, right? Where people can't go out and enjoy music. I mean, I know people are still live streaming and stuff, but like music and whatnot. Uh, but because we're doing a lot more than that i want to make sure we don't get dinged of by them cats have testosterone cats have to the r2 cats have crazy testosterone <laughs> big old benji that's the way you say it awesome 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 figured it out how the god how are you doing by the way uh ding bobber cheryl just joined what start started the night of the dj stream i missed it your mod knighthood uh so her uh her subs i think uh despair good afternoon Chicho. good afternoon to you i'm still early late morning we got a, about another hour to go to uh until we get into the afternoon games and is quiddy games and 
hello from netherlands hello salutations netherlands how are you doing how are you doing i spent a few days in uh in holland uh, walking around <laughs> the first time i subbed cheryl says ah yeah that was a good stream that was a great stream that was super fun felix how are you doing howdy chicho jack frizzy hey chicho new to twitch but i've been watching your videos on sensor tube youtube you say for a few years awesome glad to have you here glad to have you here jack uh fun place to be fun place to be we've got a great community here awesome awesome beat in the shop what was that despair we got a moth taking somebody out despair i was just thinking of you stopped at a comic book store that opened recently in my town got a horizon zero dawn book very cool art very cool art i think i've seen some of that work the some of the artwork coming out despair is amazing um and anybody else who's into comic books like seriously some of the artwork that is coming out and some of the topics that are being discussed in the comic book medium are wow absolutely amazing king canada live hey chicho and gang hello 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 king canada live good catch spam bob spam bob despair awesome thank you very much for taking care of it our advert man is back this bear is back lark bark hello morning buddy how are you doing good thank you very much sleepy ways chicho chicho this may be unrelated um it's more of a general advice i've been really passionate about building my skills around music producing but i became a little compulsive and obsessive during the pandemic about it do you have any advice for being passionate for skills building but also patient enough to not force yourself uh, by putting extra pressure i think i just have uh, high expectations i want to be good blah, blah, blah. Uh, so here's the kicker sleepy waves there's a fine line between uh letting your passions overwhelm you and take control of your life and you sacrificing other things that are important in your life to just being very passionate and very committed to what it is that you're doing i have no problem by being compulsive and obsessive to a certain degree because i am when i do certain things right we're seeking that perfection to a certain degree or trying to learn as fast as i can so that i can roll out something new that i want to do right but i do have this thing that i built for myself or sort of a commandment that i have or a mantra that i have for myself which is i'm not seeking perfection and it's the same rule that i have for my students i tell my students i don't care if you get 100 percent or not right but 80 percent is the bare minimum so 80 percent is my line where if a student gets lower than 80 percent then i say okay we need to do extra work to kick it above 80 percent because that 20 percent you can you can get if you put more work into it right 80 percent for me is do you understand the concepts right now i know it's a little different when you're producing work because you want to put out the best work that you can but just creating all this content over the last 15 years right i realized that no matter how many times and i've reshot some of those videos that i've loaded on over the last 15 years multiple times right like we're talking not a five minute video that i was shooting but a two hour video that i was shooting i would shoot the video look at the video and i would go no i can do better and i would do it again and then sometimes i did it three or four times right i don't have a problem with that that just means you're practicing to improve yourself now if you're doing that for an extended period of time for multiple months or multiple years then you sort of have to reevaluate what it is that you're doing so don't be too hard on yourself when you're becoming sort of compulsive obsessive about something that you want to do that's fine but you draw the line where 
you forget to take out the garbage maybe not for the first week but the second time if you forget to take out the garbage because you're totally obsessed with what it is that you're doing right now you're doing it wrong the garbage needs to be taken out if you if you forget how to eat or if you forget not how to eat but if, if you forget if you forget to eat right and you're getting a headache because you're dehydrated then it's time to take a break and walk away if you're sitting in a certain posture and your muscles start cramping up and you're you're having back pain and stuff like this then you need to go for a walk and it's always a good idea to do that because you can reevaluate sort of loop whatever it is that you're doing in your head and pick out the problem areas right sometimes the best way to improve your work is to take a break from your work right so there's a whole bunch of techniques you can use um, and the more you do the more you learn right like some of the like seriously I've waken up over the last I don't know whatever number of years I've waken up in the middle of the night having a solution to a problem that I had right and sometimes I get up and go to the computer and do it and I you know get up and sometimes it's a five minute gig sometimes it's I get up at two o'clock in the morning and I'm working away until 10 a.m. right and then it's time to catch a little break it's different for everyone we're all different creatures some people need eight hours sleep some people can function on four some people need to go for a walk our body structure is different some people's body structure you need to stand up and stretch every 20 minutes okay so just see where you are man don't be too hard on yourself but you, if you see see yourself sacrificing some of the more important things in your life or some of the must do's in your life then take a break okay felix i haven't checked discord in a couple of days so i'm not sure if you saw the link i sent to the music channel of uh jungle's new album yeah 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 fantastic if you did see it what do you think of the fantastic Fant it was really good i only listened to two tracks i didn't listen to the whole album but very nice beats man very upbeat uh like it was very nicely done dub x y z says mastery learning is greater than spiral learning i don't know what those refer to ding Robert chicho i'm replaying the witcher 3 masterpiece of a game i pl uh, i just played this hilarious uh side quest which involved a giant nude statue which had its testicles stolen then had um purported tower of powers to empower one in the bedroom i used my witcher senses to track down the thief who was doing doing you know what at a ripe old age claiming it was for the third time uh, that day more than he had in the last decade uh -huh. i took them back <laughs> they are back in the rightful place <laughs> hilarious thing bobber the alt of curator who sent sent me to find them told me i could quote come and stroke them anytime i like ah, love out loud the dumbest but funniest quest in the game funny 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 cheryl stepping away from the work especially creative work can be tremendously beneficial yeah cheryl's on point right stepping away is a great great time like that's one of the reasons i go for my gigantic walks right i take a pen and paper and take notes and let the mind just process do the mind needs to do whatever the mind needs to do right when people try to control their thoughts all the time they'll go crazy sometimes you got to kick it into neutral and let the mind think about anything a dust particle even what is a dust particle why does it float around like this i wonder if you can catch a dust particle let's see try to focus on a dust particle like just let your mind play right that's what a break means let your mind play right lark bark yes agreed but i love going for a walk bike riding and seeing nature puts a smile on my face also i make a habit of being too hard on myself and i've gotten better over the years cool cs miho third explosion just went off in Kabul. yeah what a monumental co cock up this has been yeah despair i missed the message but yes the witcher 3 is absolutely incredible my favorite game ever despair says really despair favorite game ever 
cool i wish i got my hands on the comic book echo hey chicho what are we talking about today we're mainly trying to focus on education um sort of we're talking a little bit about it not really about it collapsing western education but we're letting the chat sort of do what the chat wants to do and needs to do despair i'm waiting for the next gen upgrade and then i'm going to do a complete 150 plus hour playthrough of the game cannot wait desperately wanting to play it again nice and gang don't forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity for more information see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org or or julian assange and wikileaks playlist on sensor to joe chicho a perfect story for uh, to illustrate this is the story of archimedes he was commissioned by the king to determine whether a crown he had he had was pure gold after weeks of no progress his wife convinced him to take a bath uh, after weeks of no progress his wife convinced him to take a bath as he entered the water he realized the water rose displacement a way to determine volume and a way to calculate density p is equal to mass over volume right and p is the density right so that's uh, that's when you um put something in water you measure how high it goes the volume of the water and then uh, and all that jazz I, we used to do this in uh, physics so walking away is fantastic and by the way walking away in nature and doing things phys like with your hands and observing nature is one of the best ways to find solutions to your problems because majority of the things that we have in this world that we've created as human beings are mimicking nature right so once you try to observe nature you might find solutions to some of the problems you may you may be encountering right ding baba chicho me too favorite rpg ever favorite fps ever uh tintin fall 2 i don't know titan for tintin fall 2 titan fall 2 awesome uh elegod being extremely stressful environments makes me feel really relaxed i think i'm hardwired for the winter's coming scenario haha <laughs> but uh, elder god i'm pretty sure when you crash you need to crash like when you crash you probably crash for two days or something right just just zombie right and then you rejuvenate and you're good to go right thomas hey chicho how are you doing thomas welcome welcome to another live stream felix i'm gonna have to dis uh, disagree in my opinion red ah uh, red uh, red red dead red dead redemption 2 will always be the greatest story game of all time really red dead redemption was really good by the way i played a little bit of it just rode around on the horse and stuff shooting things up not much at a, at a friend's place dasenio oh my god you look like surge tank yeah no no did you know did you know did you know that they're trying to build a prison they're trying to build a prison they're trying to build a prison for me and you to live in milinja hey chicho and everyone i just accepted a graduate civil engineering job which starts in october nice i found out today that it will it will 90 percent. it will be 90 percent working from home over the internet do you have any tips with a new job and building relationships with my new co-workers without that uh without that in person face-to-face -face communication cheers um if you're living in the same town make plans to meet them outside of work hours and go for a walk or go for a coffee or something like that right um that's one way of doing it but for me i've done most of my work not most of my work but a lot of my work online and um, my relationships see this is the one thing i've done with my work even though i've had friends at work that you know i've worked as a geophysicist mainly during the 10 years decade that i was doing geophysics i had friends at work but the socializing with work friends i kept to a minimum 
Um, so for me, work friends were sort of, I did socialize. There was a period where we parted a little bit and stuff together, but I soon realized that work friends, I like to keep at a sort of an arm's length and close friends get to know me, uh, all aspects of me to a certain degree. Right. So for me, um, you know you're asking a question i guess from the wrong person because I've, I've never really been into building too many close relationships from work i've always built close relationships outside of work uh through pleasure uh, and some friends that i've had through school right but i would say just make plans uh, outside of work hours right Joe Chicho, I think the Archimedes story is viewed more as a legend, like Newton and the apple. Is it? Really? The Newton and the apple, I know. The Newton and the apple is he was sitting on their apple tree and an apple fell on his head. He went, oh, gravity. Mm, I think it was more complicated than that. And I think that's uh, sort of a folklore. Uh, I thought the uh, Archimedes story was true. Lonely Piggy, how are you doing? Hello, Chicho and Chad. Lonely Piggy. I got walnuts and black mulberries. They're really good. Walnuts and black mulberries. Dried black mulberries. They're good. Very good snack. Very good snack together. And walnuts and raisins is really good too. Right. So you take them together and you pop them. Felix Chicho couldn't agree more about your view on nature a lot of my mental problems have been fixed by camping building dens and with friends in the woods and generally being in nature yeah 100 percent if you're out of the prison jack i'm an english teacher in new york so i'm I'm interested in hearing your thoughts on the state of education. The state of education is completely collapsed. Jack, it's done in Canada, in the United States. Really, it's it's over. Um, one of the reasons is because they've gutted the education system, right? I've mentioned this before during other streams, but for mathematics, for example, because I know the mathematics end of it, in the 1980s, in 10 months, the curriculum contained anywhere between 30 to 40% more content than it does now in the same period. Before the lockdowns, by the way, when people were attending class, when kids were attending class. So in 10 months right now, if we went back to the way things were, where people were going to class, in my part of the world, they have gutted the math curriculum anywhere between 30 to 40% compared to not even just... 1980s and 90s but even compared to like 15 years ago compared to 15 years ago is 30 percent got it done over they don't even they haven't even filled it with anything new right they just extended some of the topics because they're not preparing kids so it's just it's just a gong show right it's just garbage okay so the curriculum's bs totally centralized controlled and the central governments think they can do whatever the hell they want because they don't have no understanding of what's needed because a machine like that moves really slowly it doesn't uh adapt fast right that's why a lot of mm, huge corporations after a certain period of time they don't innovate right their r d drops they don't innovate and new technology comes along or new uh, disruptive innovation comes along and displaces them right that's where we are right now our centralized education has been trying to keep a stranglehold on the curriculums not allowing teachers and communities to decide what their kids should learn right and the whole system's collapsed okay that's one of the reasons the other reason is teachers unions are completely corrupt now they're done right i i used to be pro teachers union i am anti teachers union now mainly because of some of the statements they've made in the last couple of years right so they're garbage as well okay the bureaucracy is only concerned about data stats and their stats 
you can manipulate it any which way you want oh kids aren't doing well on this on this on these tests let's change the test and make you know eliminate if it was a multiple choice five choices let's get rid of one of them now it's four choices now kids have a better odd of guessing which one is the right one right so they manipulate right the exams to get the statistics they want okay you have people like in Oregon the governor I believe it was the governor that came out that said math literacy and um, English literacy will no longer be required to graduate from high school done 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 and that's the bureaucracy okay so on every front and then you can hit up the the books right the textbooks now the textbooks you don't have to look at the recent revelations of how the textbooks are total garbage right we're talking elementary school is just useless right useless right you could teach so much to kids that are in elementary school when they're preteen right they don't they don't right but let's talk about high school and post high school college university right all you have to do is go back and read Richard Feynman's letter. It was a chapter that he wrote in a book in 1960s. And I have an article on it on my, I took that segment, a piece of it anyway, and posted an article on it. Uh, but basically look, 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 do a search for on DuckDuckGo for Richard Feynman textbooks. You should be able to find it if you can't find it let me know i'll try to link it up in the description of this video as well if i remember if not people watching this video after the fact please let me know and i'll find the link and post it here but richard Feynman in the 1960s basically went on the school board in california right no, not the school board but basically the board where they were reviewing textbooks to find out which textbooks would be good to put into the education system right and man did he write a, sort of a piece just ripping it apart saying how corrupt it is right the people who were supposed to be reviewing these textbooks were being paid off by the textbook publishing companies some of the books that they were approving they hadn't even been written yet right it was it, it's just a critique of how horrendous the education system has been for a number of decades and during the last 10 years really during the last 20 years it became clear to me that the final nails in the coffin were coming it was putting in that's why i started creating math videos 15 years ago right i knew it was coming it was just build the content because once people realize it's completely collapsed they're going to look online to find material right so it's it's collapsed on every front right and the teachers are totally burnt out totally burnt out because their main issue is not the kids right their main issue is dealing with the parents and the bureaucracy and the administrations right you can correct me if you think i'm wrong but that's where i stand on it that's my perspective of why the current education system in Canada, the United States has completely collapsed and I'm pretty sure it's the same in uh, Europe in most of the Western world okay Ding Baba Chicho you have been blessed by Serge Tankian duper gang are doing ASMR for you hilarious see Chicho I agree sometimes having work friends can be iffy because the lines can I uh, can become blurred if you aren't clear maybe best to be friendly with your co for, be friendly for sure co-workers but not build super close relationship with them yeah i was always friendly for sure and i used to throw parties i used to have uh, there was a period where i threw a lot of parties <laughs> i threw parties where some of my work friends would come right and then they would mingle with some of the other friends that i have and some of the other friends that i had were a little uh, they were on the extreme side so they would be like oh my god what the hell is going on some of them loved it of course Bakul Dada. how how does education uh, study topics become more holistic 360 degrees providing 
different perspectives uh, to same reality how did they come holistic decentralize the damn thing we need to completely decentralize education education should be the curriculum there's two and i've said this before there's two courses that i would say should be mandatory okay in all schools right and these are the only two courses as far as i'm concerned mathematics and your natural language whatever that natural language is if it's english it's english in my part of the world right everything else should be an elective and the elective classes should be you know your typical elective classes science music uh, gym uh, cooking food growing food gardening whatever just provide as many electives as possible right programming programming would be amazing right provide as many electives as possible however source those courses the people that are going to teach them and how that curriculum is going to be laid out from a local uh your locality right so for example i live in the west coast of canada right there is no way in canada the education system is based on pro province right but i live in more populated part of the west coast of canada right there are people living in northern bc their needs to know how to live in that environment are different than my needs where i need to learn if i'm growing up here to function in this society the commonality is english and math right mandatory you need to learn science but mathematics is a language of science right the science should be an elective really science should be an elective people are, are going to know like when you say take science when they people take a curriculum and make it science right now in that course they're trying to teach biology chemistry and physics right but biology chemistry and physics has multiple other branches as well that are more fine-tuned they go into more detailed stuff right so why not have a course on forestry right that could be your science course but they don't have that if they touch on forestry for example in science class in high school let's say grade 8 9 10 11 really maybe they talk about it for a day but someone in northern bc who loves nature right maybe they want a longer course on forestry right maybe they want a course on mycology right so we need to source out the electives the curriculum for the electives that are offered in school from a look local community right what does the community think should be a legitimate elective that children should be able to take right we have to decentralize it i know it's a huge task i know it's a huge task really i appreciate this but that's the end goal because what kids people need to learn in one part of the world could be completely different than what they need to learn on the other part of the world and the reason by the way mathematics and english or natural language should be the mandatory courses is because those are the core those are the two things they're languages that we use to communicate ideas so you need to be able to understand mathematics and communicate in your natural language well enough to be able to communicate your ideas you could be a genius and if you don't know how to read and write no one will know that you're a genius do you know how many geniuses are there out there in the world that are homeless walking around the streets and talking to themselves they're brilliant minds but they just didn't have the ability to communicate that brilliance to others that's sort of my take on how we become holistic decentralize decentralize i'm going to scroll down and see if there's anything directed towards me joe uh chicho apparently the story appears in a book written by roman architect called vitruvius really that's the archimedes story i didn't know that
Nice. And the Horizon book is Image, isn't it? That's the Image book. I picked up the first few issues of it. I'm scrolling down, gang. Despair, you're busy. Nice. Thank you for taking care of business. I'm scrolling down, scrolling down. Oh, wow, there's a lot of chat. Uh, okay, I'm all the way down to the bottom, gang. My apologies. Everyone is a genius in their own way. Yeah, beat. I agree. King Cannon Live. I think um, nutritional science cooking should be compulsory at least for a year or two. Too many adolescents, young adults who have no idea how to feed their body and constantly eat garbage. King Cannon Live, I would agree, but I wouldn't say make it mandatory. Uh, I think once we localize, we will see uh the right courses come into light right i mean another one um in terms of diet i mean there's so many so much stuff that you would consider to be mandatory right just f exercise right the the gym classes that they have it, it's it doesn't ask the kids what they want to do they force them to play certain things there's so many different ways you could exercise. Why aren't those options available to kids? Well, because of funding, right? Bureaucracy, right? Uh, they don't have the teachers available to them because they have to, the union say, oh, you have to join the union to be able to teach. You can't bring in, you know, someone to teach a course for two weeks, right? So for example, weightlifting. Weightlifting is ridiculous, as far as I'm concerned, ridiculously important for youth ridiculously important for youth i think everyone should go into the gym when even as adults but i think everyone should be lifting weights right it doesn't have to be going into the gym you could just have barbells and doing weights right because that improves your health but do you know how few students i've had that actually know how to lift weights they don't why isn't this taught in school the proper posture of how to lift weights like it's crazy it's crazy but again i don't think this should be mandatory i think this should be electives right think about it chicho my cousin if you only had the will could learn 1000 percent more using the internet than the garbage is learning at school he's 11 uh, about to turn 12 but i'd wager he's more intelligent with better communication and english skills as well as emotional in intelligence than most 15 to 16 year olds he is currently obsessed with super smash brothers <laughs> millie and can almost beat me he watches tutorial videos on advanced techniques awesome yeah and there's so many kids like this so many kids like this and we're just we're not feeding them properly we're not feeding their minds properly, right? He wants to go to a local tournament with me, and I'm going to take him. Awesome. Yeah, encourage. Whatever they want, encourage them. Marco Twist, how are you doing? I like that emote. Wake the bro, 9,000. <laughs> I'm all the way down to the bottom, gang. Apologies if I missed uh, some of the chat. I'm going to scroll up and see what's what people are talking about. Thomas, for a long time in the UK, you were required to study another language for a year, which felt like such a waste of time. Either make people study it for years so they can actually have a chance of really learning the language or make it totally optional. A year studying a language really doesn't help, in my opinion, and nobody took it seriously. Here's the thing, Thomas. For me, they made me study French for grade eight nine ten eleven for four years at school right i didn't learn how to speak it i didn't really learn how to write it i cheated all the way through i didn't give a rat's ass because the first year when they said oh you have to take you have to take a second language i told them well i already have two other languages armenian and farsi they said well we don't recognize those languages right what they really meant to say is we don't have the funding to offer classes in those languages so you have to take this other language right and at the time i was barely two years three years into trying to learn english so my english was horrendous and they were trying to force feed another language down my throat so i took it for four years and that was the case for most of my 
uh, peers, most of my classmates, they took French for four years. They can barely say five words. Fenetra. I know. Window. Fenetra. <laughs> right? Merci. Right? I probably retain more French words from learning Farsi because Farsi uses a lot of French words than I acquired learning French for f four years in school. I think it should be languages like and by the way I'm, i got nothing against languages i think everybody should have second third fourth language like as many languages as possible because every language gives you a different perspective um, different way to interpret life right there are things you can say in english that you can't say in other languages there's things you can say in other languages that you can't say in english robert anton wilson said this during one of his uh interviews where and I don't know if this is true or not he said uh, basically it's um, easier to talk about quantum mechanics quantum physics in Swahili than it is in English because Swahili has words that explain some of the properties of quantum mechanics naturally like it, it just makes sense and English lacks those words right now I think he was just trying to make an example i don't think that's true but i'm pretty sure that's true in another language it must be easier to talk about quantum mechanics in certain languages than it is in other languages than it is in english there's no doubt of doubt in my mind that that is the case <laughs> yeah i think Bobby, you could fall asleep at school every day and still pass the year i bet yeah and that's the case for most kids and most of them don't even have to pass cyanide for dinner what's up what's up how you doing cyanide for dinner i tried teaching my brother how to drive yesterday the first thing he does is crash <laughs> crush my foot oh god you were outside close to the car and you backed up into it no 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 max wild i was taught french from grade four to nine I really wish I had continued taking it, but had absolutely no desire at the time. It was completely forced on us as kids in Ontario. Yeah, Max, same in BC. They just forced it on us. It was just, man, and the teacher was really nice. The one, the, you know, the teacher, I, the t two teachers that I had, or one teacher really for four years. No, no, I had two, t two different teachers. Really nice teachers, both of them. But try to force into a teenage you must do this oh the hell with that right and i wish i learned it better really I, I wish i learned french but that's the midlife chicho saying to teenage chicho learn your french that's not gonna happen right king canada live that's weird you only need one year of french in ontario school board really here it was four years but remember i went i'm talking back in the 80s i don't know what it is right now with languages i think in languages they have way more options i tell my students if you can take either spanish or mandarin that would be the language languages to take all right spanish more so in uh in canada i think I hate French. I still hate it. Passé, composé. Oh my God. <laughs> Grade one to nine for you. Wow. Jew Manhat. Nine, nine years of French. Do you speak it? So you went to French immersion. Manhat, you went to French immersion. And here, here's the thing. I've had students that have gone to French immersion, right? And they actually i think they go up to grade seven or grade nine with french immersion some of them actually they go further as well but i've had a lot of students that some students anyway that have come to me to learn for me to teach them math uh, because their math abilities totally sucked when they came out of french immersion and went to uh, the regular high school right because when they're in french immersion most of them were english natural speaking and then they're trying to learn french and they were teaching them math which is another language using french so their base was english they were trying to learn french and math is a language and they were teaching them math in french but they didn't know french well enough right so just try, just imagine switch up math with german just imagine 
taking German, but you're in French immersion, so they're teaching you German in French. It just doesn't work. It just doesn't work, right? Only taking about makes sense. High school. You can say a few numbers. On on dos trois quatre cinq six siete wet nuevo wet I don't know nuevo this my god <laughs> despair we had the option to learn Spanish French or Latin back in middle high school had to take two semesters of one language I chose French I wanted to learn it but I couldn't focus enough to do it yeah Ding Baba Chicho. I tried in school starting in grade nine and I did it did in ten as well to some degree. Grade eleven, I adopted that eat the gift teen attitude. I don't know what that is. I, oh I don't give a fuck uh, teen attitude and barely passed. Grade twelve came to my senses and got on the honor roll. Oh nice, right on Ding Bobber. You didn't do French immersion okay man hat and gang don't forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity for more information see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org or our julian assange and wikileaks playlist on censor 2. Elder God, I have noticed a lot of students who got A's in the recent UK A level results can't string a sentence together to save their lives. Yeah, yeah. Then kids are graduating high school, getting really good marks, but they they can't function in the society. A few years ago, I had a couple of students that were graduating from private school, right? Uh, both of them were girls. Okay, it was a girls only private school private school very very expensive private school in vancouver right both of them were graduated with 99 and 98 percent average like aced everything right both of them got accepted into university obviously right they were doing extracurricular activities and stuff too both of them within two and a half months dropped out because they couldn't handle the workload all right and before they went into university i told them i tell all my students i go look you guys aren't ready to go to university and do what it needs to take if you really want to excel and do what it is that you want to do right be prepared for what is about to happen this isn't high school you're not going to get pampered right if you do it right um so they had to reevaluate their their whole being because they were always used to being in a hundred percent really in everything and then going to post-secondary education and bombing out crapping out they just couldn't handle it too much right that's how bad that's how horrendous our current education system is high school education specifically right 30 years ago if you were getting basically 100 percent in high school if you went to college or university you would excel you would have done phenomenal right because you knew what it took to do work okay bakul dada education should provide physical mental uh, wealth love relationship happiness enjoyment grounding giving scientific fractional traditional alternative options of covering those areas current education give excess emphasis on history uh, root problem solving memory artificial and manufacturer collabor collaboration without focus on creating an independent individual uh, yeah in large part there the problems with our current education system and the history they're teaching is indoctrination right so they're not teaching real history right they're indoctrinating the youth in the history the centralized power wants them to be programmed with so history is a damn right off a complete write off right they're getting people to memorize crap that comes into play in mathematics and science and 
languages to a certain degree and whatnot right so there's a lot of memorization in there the collaboration forcing kids to collaborate with people that they don't want to collaborate with is garbage it's stupid right you can teach collaboration in so many other ways than saying okay you three kids have to work on this project together what a disaster what a disaster what does that teach them that teaches them how to manipulate others that teaches them how to not pass on the work to someone else so creates amazing bureaucrats right so it's major problems major problems and i agree with you it should teach about love and relationships happiness enjoyment pursuing your passions it should teach about finance right not just the wall street finance that even though that should be a part of it right money management it should teach about uh, risk benefit analysis right is this really worth doing what are the costs of this doing it they don't teach any of this stuff any of the stuff right cyanide for dinner also learn morse code and military alphabet one day you might require it i should i should do that i don't know that i studied it when, when i looked at it when i was a little kid right dash dot dot dash i used to know some of them but i don't anymore ah thank you very much for the bits for the cheers uh v62p appreciate them micro twist i speak four languages spanish swedish english and portuguese brazilian portuguese awesome awesome brazilian portuguese think about Richicho. i don't know how, uh, how my friend did it to be honest he's always he's always been incredible smart known him since grade two he went to the university of ontario institute of technology for nuclear engineering i went to the college on the same campus for computer systems technology dropped out after one year <laughs> i'm um, fine though but he managed to get good enough grades in year four of uni to get a job right off the bat and is now making over 100k per year and is literally already a millionaire due to crypto cool good on him he he was lucky enough to find uh, a discipline that he excelled in and i hope he loves that he's working in and he's immersed himself in everybody's not like that some people um, it takes people sometimes a long time to find the discipline they want to be in sometimes many times people immerse themselves in a discipline they love it they do all this stuff they become like you said millionaires doing this and then after a few years they realize they don't they're not happy they don't want to do this they were just doing it because they were good at it right really because they were good at it now should you focus your life your energy just on things that you're good at no i think there has to be a certain amount of challenge i think there has to be a lot of novelty okay a lot of novelty thank you very much v62p for the cheers there has to be novelty you look in your life when you're graduating high school or whatnot i forget what the number is but the stat says that most people will change their careers if you want to think about as careers or their jobs multiple times in their lives right and that's the way it's been with me and that's the way it's been with most of the people that i know okay the ones who stuck just with the one thing that they're doing because first of all it's the ball and chain they get into a corporation they got their retirement plan they got their connections this is what they know they didn't spend the time to learn more things i don't give a rat's ass what you're doing learn something that is completely disconnected not not related to what it is that you're doing at work or your passion right so for example your friend is a nuclear physicist is in crypto and stuff like this fine and dandy right but if that's the only thing that he's doing he might get burned thank you very much matt for the sub right he might get burned right he needs to and i hope he's smart enough that he does have passions and interactions outside of that circle right whatever it is that you're doing make sure you have multiple different 
systems that you're engaging in because you learn things from those systems right and they may come a time where you don't want to be here and if you haven't at least created some pathways for you to enter different systems you're gonna have a hard time you're gonna have a seriously hard time okay that's one bit of advice I can definitely give you guys despair I know how many times I've had to do all the work in a group project it really it really is garbage yeah yeah despair I it's ridiculous that they actually think this is a good idea and they call it collaboration we're teaching collaboration no you're not you're teaching stupidity like you're teaching garbage sign for dinner I speak Russian English German with so sober and Jewish when drunk <laughs> Dick Bobber, he also side hustles with uh, beat making, awesome and producing. His biggest success in uh, that regard, having his two hundred thousand k listeners on Spotify, and the producer for a rap track with his twin brother, who is also an engineer, awesome, awesome, awesome. I taught myself French v 62 P says nice good on your brother or sister of course Matt Matt PS hey everybody hi Matt PS how are you doing and thanks again for the sub uh, bah, bah, bah. I'm gonna scroll down gang oh I'm not too far behind micro twist but that uh, haven't gotten me anywhere laugh out loud I worked as a Spanish interpreter for two years never again you need to be a psychological psychological strong to do that job the only downside king can life says is you had to live in oshawa oh no for what for what is this oshawa king can i've been to oshawa We're only talking about oshawa wasn't that bad king can life was it it's not bad it's not bad v 62 yeah but changing careers means a lower paycheck mm, it could it could mean a lower paycheck there, there's a transition that's for sure there's a transition and changing careers may be you doing your own project your own job right so then that could be a serious uh, uptick in your pay right but if you're working for corporations if you've got experience in this field and you try to go to this field then yeah usually you take a pay cut usually you take a pay cut and Matt six months in a row awesome thing about Chicho reading the message after you will find he is uh, doing just what you're saying well-rounded guy awesome awesome sleepy with Chicho what is your advice for trying to improve memory I feel like I have terrible memory for remembering history and info perhaps because I started smoking the ganja too early in life uh, I don't know if it's related to ganja I started pretty damn early man so I can't you know I'm bad with names and stuff like this maybe that has something to do with it but I'm okay with that right um, in regards to history one of the problems with history is in school anyway they cover so much right so much and it's all superficial and it's all superficial right if you want to learn history then pick a historical event and really dig down into it like we did it for here I always have these handy the war on drugs right we did it for a war on drugs you look into the history of war on drugs you could write a PhD thesis on the history on the war on drugs and that goes the same with anything right any historical event or discipline I guess whatever you want to call this right so it might not be your memory it might be the way history was taught to you which is okay this semester we're learning Roman history and then we're gonna go into the Civil War and then we're gonna go into World War two and then we're gonna look into World War one and then we're gonna look into the Cold War and then we're gonna look into the Egypt you know Egypt and the Pharaohs how you no one can remember all that stuff absolutely not right so focus on a certain historical event that you're really interested in and explore that I'm pretty sure you retain a lot of it 
Joe Chicho for a long time I've wanted to spend a part of my life living in East Asia and I've spent a bit of my time learning Japanese and Mandarin nice the issue I have is I have a pretty severe uh, stutter which I've had since I first learned to talk I'm not sure if this has impaired my language abilities because I find it very difficult to remember new words when I learn them wow cool stutter but um, I'm assuming Joe your understanding is better than your speaking yeah like you pro I think that goes with most languages you can understand a lot more than you can convey is that true Joe but yeah that would be you know I'm using I'm, I'm gonna use it uh, the, 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 not in a bad way but that would be one of your handicaps right like that's one of the things that you're gonna have to work harder to retain the words and the language right and try to learn Japanese and Mandarin at the same time which one is easier uh, from what I understand there's two different uh, Japanese uh, written Japanese one of them is easier to read than the other one one is more formal and the other one is more uh, is a different type of I forget what it is is it letters or symbols I forget what it is there's two different types of Japanese written uh, I don't know if there's two different uh, uh, speaking versions right King can alive no no Oshawa isn't bad at all I'm just <laughs> you're just ripping the ding bobber uh -huh. Be creative with memory v, uh, v62 says it well right yeah I know it's not black and white be creative with memory yeah association a lot of people use association right like I remember certain people's names because I associate them or people told me to associate them with something because I kept on forgetting their name right like I I have I know someone a friend her name is Elizabeth and I know it now because uh, I associated with Queen Elizabeth because she's from England so I know she's from England so right away I go Elizabeth <laughs> it took me a long time right it took me a long time you'd be amazed two years <laughs> until I could remember to do that right crazy 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 Joe Chicho after trying to learn Mandarin I have started to suspect I may be a bit tone deaf Mandarin is crazy the the tones are insane on it right Mandarin is a tonal language and I find it very difficult to recognize changes in pitch when I listen to people speak Mandarin this combined with having a stutter makes me think it might be a lost cause if you can look one of the things I can I can tell you about uh, the Asian culture right uh, China for sure Japan for sure all, all Asian cultures that I've encountered if you try uh, to learn their language if you show respect to them and this is a sign of respect they will show respect back to you a thousandfold right there is there's a there's a certain honor system there that is brilliant really right I first encountered this when I learned how to eat with chopsticks and I learned how to eat with chopsticks like really early like so early I was, like in the late 80s and at that time there was barely anybody in the Western world not too many people that really knew how to use chopsticks well I think one of the reasons I learned how to use chopsticks well was because I used I played drums right and I would go to Korean restaurants and Chinese restaurants and Japanese restaurants, mainly Korean. I would go to at that time and some Chinese, and I would use chopsticks. And people were like, "Whoa, you know how to use chopsticks well?" I was like, "Yeah." I had a Korean friend at university. He was like, "Oh, when I when we were roommates, he was like, oh Chicho, you're really good at using chopsticks. That's a sign of respect.'" And I was like, "Oh, okay. Thanks for letting me know. I have no idea." But slowly, I realized there's certain something there so I think Joe if you try that's good enough that's good enough right and the more you try obviously the better better you'll be at it right but yeah Mandarin from what I understand is pretty hard language to learn man almost as hard as Russian from what I understand Russian is supposed to be super hard no 
Novarini, Novarini to Joe. You just need more time. Um, regarding the Mandarin, you just need more time. It's possible, but despite learning Mandarin for many years and studying in Beijing for three years, I could only really begin to recognize tones more distinctly by year three. Really, wow, wow, wow. Sol Invictus. So there's three for Japan. There's three different uh, styles. Is that what we're talking about? summer returns hey how are you doing welcome welcome to our live stream and summer is about to end oh no uh no verney it's a alpha alphabetic versus kanji traditional characters is that what it is cool lady k1 hello from calgary just listening hello lady k1 from calgary i lived in calgary for about six months i've done a lot of work there actually I lived in Calgary in the late 80s, late eight, oh, sorry, late 90s, late 90s. I had some good friends in Calgary. Fun town, crazy town. Is Cowboy still around? Is that gigantic pub Cowboy still around? What a pub, what a crazy pub. They used to have, for those of you that want to know, they used to have beer, glasses of beer for 25 cents on which days was it? I can't remember, Tuesdays or Wednesdays. 25 cent glasses of beer. In the late late 90s <laughs> there's a lot of drunkenness one time we got kicked out into the alley that was not a good scene the bouncers kicked us and the bouncers are huge gigantic uh, we were asked to leave not from the front door from the back alley oh god i had my fingers crossed we get out of there alive and we did summer returns russian russian is easier than mandarin for sure is it okay cool 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 elder god i was using chopsticks at five years old <laughs> that's because you lived in hong kong man <laughs> ding bobber uh hi the way japanese japanese people speak to each other from what i've seen is very respectful lots of bowing and saying hi uh politely and respectfully laugh out loud i don't know much about their culture though it's, i know i know a little bit uh, a lot of japanese uh in my part of the world and chinese and a lot of asian anyway um, very distinct characters each country Cheryl, I agree. Russian is much easier than Mandarin. I think people feel Russian will be difficult because of the alphabet, but it's so logical. Is it logical? I like for me, I like one day I would love to sit down and read some of the Russian books that are must reads that people have uh, on their list. Right. Vocalist Yo Chicho. Hello, vocalist. How are you doing? summer returns the russian alphabet is very easy the cases and grammar can be a bit hard but it's absolutely nothing compared to mandarin or japanese really i heard japanese is much easier than mandarin on mcleod trail cowboys on mcleod trail i think so i lived like when i lived in calgary i lived like three blocks away from there <laughs> and by the way lady uh lady k1 there used to be one of the best Korean restaurants ever uh, that I've ever eaten at in Calgary. I don't know if it's still around. I doubt it. It's like 20 plus years now. But it's amazing Korean food. Amazing Korean food. Ah, uh, Matt P.S. says 25 cents. I'd never leave. <laughs> if you had enough, they would ask you to leave. And it was chaos, and there was like people who line dance and stuff. It was fun, man. It was a fun place. Summer returns. Japan has almost no swearing or dis disrespect at all. Really, simply not directly showing respect is like their way of swearing. Really, wow, wow, wow. Joe Chicho, I definitely want to find a public class or a private tutor for Mandarin or Japanese. My university offered classes in both and i really regret not taking any uh the card the courses we could have taken uh lady k1 that you see uh you think is still there wow that's how many decades it's been there now uh, more than two decades right and before that it was there longer as well right 
I'm guessing you don't go there, Lady K1. <laughs> I wouldn't go there anymore. Uh, cowboys used to serve beer in tubs. I remember one night falling, uh, falling out the front door. Okay, <laughs> I'm corrected. You do go there or you have been there. Hilarious. Summer returns. Japanese is harder than Mandarin too. Japanese is harder than Mandarin, really. You have to learn three alphabets rather than one, including the Chinese alphabet. Really, but not for speaking. Really? For speaking as well? That's more reading and writing, yeah? Jo Chicho, my dad's partner is from uh, Malaysia and ke uh, keeps speaks uh, speaks both Malay and Mandarin, so I might ask her. Cool, cool, cool. Why not? Mandarin is um, an elder god. You were in Hong Kong, so you must speak Cantonese, no? Cantonese as well. And Cantonese and Mandarin are very different, yes? walnuts Randall thank you very much for the tier one sub 25 months in a row walnuts and black mulberries very delicious Boop. <laughs> Randall oh my god I I really need to learn another language i'm getting lazy in my old age um uh, brother you and me both summer returns yeah speaking chinese is harder but the japanese writing system is so difficult it adds years to learning though oh really speaking good enough for me if i ever learn a thing bobber gonna dip chicho have fun enjoy the rest of your stream and your day back to the twitcher three awesome enjoy the game enjoy the game yes enjoy brother Randall gang I hope you have good snacks and we're definitely talking about our education system and the solution to our collapsing education system is completely decentralized it completely decentralized right let's see if I'll focus I don't think it's gonna focus it's too dark right now oh it will almost focus oh no summer returns korean is meant to be very logical and easy though korean is funny korean is good i've hung around koreans a lot i had a korean roommate i used to play poker all night with koreans such a harsh language bulgogi <laughs> kimchi chapche those last three were uh, Korean dishes oh, very rough lady k1 I'm 62 years young my father was French and learned a few words but that's about it you must have learned the uh, lady k1 the swear words no he Calgary's education system is horrible yeah horrendous BC horrendous all of Canada horrendous if you have kids in Canada and they're in high school you need to supplement their education you do not expect them to grow up being functional human beings that can navigate this world coming out of high school no way no how no way no how ah, you learned all the swear words lady k1 <laughs> i don't actually know a tabernacle tabernacle i know one french swear word tabernacle and i don't even know if i'm pronouncing it right matt do you have any love for pistachios dude I was born in Iran. Armenian pistachios rock. Had them first time last week, and they changed my life, dude. And a mat, a mat. P.S. Be careful. We, I've eaten pistachios to a level where you're cracking the, the shells open. You crack so many of them. You eat so many that your nails, 
tear apart and sometimes you start bleeding as, as a kid anyway we used to do that even young adult so uh, find a better way <laughs> if you're eating a lot better way to get the get the get the, the pistachios out of the shells all right but pistachios are amazing amazing joe chicho japanese and mandarin both use a logogram system where symbols represent entire words and phrases that's what it is yeah 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 they have an alphabet system and uh what's it called logogram system very cool Alan god i speak five languages but only three very well nice i speak only one really well uh that's english math i'm okay at uh armenian and farsi i'm not very good at rendo chicho i've been incredibly busy past months already finished my 46 hour work week don't think i'll chat much tonight gonna lurk and chill in the sofa as per usual hope you're doing well doing well randall thank you very much uh thank you very much and thank you for 25 months of subscriber um, but yeah chill brother chill brother and tomorrow gang we're doing a cooking stream um well we're, i don't know if you call it cooking but we're gonna do uh philosophy and sourdough pancakes the first cooking stream we did we did philosophy and pancakes i believe that was the first stream we did tomorrow we're going to do philosophy and sourdough pancakes i'm going to make sourdough pancakes eat them up and we're going to talk about almost exactly what we're doing about doing right now talking about life right slaughterhouse 99 long live long live the eternal science of marxism and Leninism. <laughs> in practice they didn't go too well the summer time summer summer returns the uk's education system is still relatively good until you until university really you, is university bad now and gang don't forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity for more information see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org or our julian assange and wikileaks playlist on sensor 2. Bakul Dada. how does one learn more about forestry and eco conservation with limited opportunities in a cold country <clears throat> what cold country what do you mean every every country no matter where you are has uh, an ecosystem right oh wow Randall you just gifted five subs I saw this thing pop out is gifting five tier one subs to Chicho's community they've gifted a total of 28 28 in the channel oh, wow. so welcome bread slinger 91 joe 56658 sleepy waves you're in lake flynn busy free man and vocalist awesome i'm drinking uh, persian black tea micro twist Elder God to run the long live Chichonia. Yay, Sleepy Wave says. I got one. Awesome. <laughs> we have to make Chichonia flag. Ah, oh, we should have a Chichonia flag. What would it be? What would it be? I don't know. I don't know. Just going back to the conversation regarding the forestry and ecosystem. Uh every every place on the planet has an ecosystem, right? So it doesn't make a difference how cold the places you're living or how warm it is you're gonna have an ecosystem desert has an ecosystem so you could just study it there but if you mean university colleges and even high school you know hopefully they offer something most of them don't in high school they don't anyway summer returns although when it comes to history the uk's education is ridiculously bad yeah <laughs> it's based on the based on the british empire's version of history isn't it slaughterhouse to be honest there is no ethical consumption under capitalism is there ethical consumption under capitalism it, some would argue there's no ethical consumption period right but i think there's ethical consumption under uh, capitalism right so for example 
I've made my I've made math videos and my math videos are available for viewing for free. I generate money through either advertisements or people coming here subscribing to me or through Patreon, right? I think that's ethical. Uh, however, you could argue that we're using electricity and generating electricity. There's a lot of unethical ways to generate electricity, so that's unethical. So really, it's a fine line, right? Slaughterhouse. Uh, don't mind me. I'm getting my channel points up. Elder God says, <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> Cooking stream, cooking stream tomorrow. He 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 he. <laughs> the scene was being used well, Randall. Awesome, awesome. Sleep away, Chicho. What are you currently reading? Um, in terms of uh, books, I'm not reading any books right now. I'm reading a lot of random comic books. Like seriously, so many random comic books. I have a box, a handful of boxes or just comics that aren't in bags or anything like this that I picked up for 25 cents. So I'm going through those right now. And it's a pleasure going through them. Like, really, it's amazing. Matt, Chicho, haha. I'll keep an eye on the nails. Thanks for the tip. Oh, where are we? Where are we? Uh, micro twist. Well, private schools in most countries are good. Public schools suck. Uh, micro twist, I disagree. I've had students from that go to private schools in Vancouver, okay, and some of them are horrendous, horrendous, garbage, garbage, garbage. Not in not only in terms of their curriculum, but in terms of how they're indoctrinating the kids. Like I had really, I'll, I'll tell you this because there's no names involved. I had one student once that was being bullied in one private school right and he transferred over to another private school okay this is in the same town in vancouver right and he was into playing sports i won't mention what sport because i don't want i don't want it to be tagged right so he was playing sports and he signed up with the sport okay and there were there were one game they were having with this private school so they played the game and the kids in this private school started harassing the kid that they were harassing in their school before he transferred, right? Later on, they sent the kid death threats. They sent him pictures of guns. They said they were going to kill him. And I was tutoring this kid. And this kid was a, what a phenomenal kind kid, right? The police got involved, right? This is a private school. If my kid was in that private school, I'll pull that kid out of that private school. And I I can make a ruckus. There's like nothing, right? And people thought this wasn't a big deal, some of the people in the private school. Right? No, I disagree. When you say micro twist, private schools in most countries are good i disagree that is a fallacy i've been teaching for 20 plus years here right and i can honestly tell you that is a complete fallacy elder god micro twist i grew up in hong kong it was easy to learn my first language surrounded by native speakers indeed indeed truth 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 julian assange have you all read Domenico Losorto? No, I've never read. Oh, I'm scrolling down, I'm scrolling down. Are you drinking? To, ah, yeah, Persian tea. I caught up with that. Yay! <laughs> Those are the Randall's gifted subs. Awesome. What does it mean that I have a tier one sub? I guess yeah, you get access to another emote, I believe, or two other emotes. And I think you can do other things. I'm not 100% sure. What are my top three favorite teas? I love mint. Mint tea is amazing. I love black tea, like Persian black tea, right? Oh, what else? I love herbal teas as well. Like, it, like the two is 
uh, and ginger is really good too i had ginger and rose rose is really nice too so i have a whole bunch of teas that i drink but black tea is my main tea that i drink summer returns chicho what's your opinion on pet cats we have two i own two but they absolutely destroy local wildlife what's your solution uh, we keep them indoors right we had one cat that was uh, a summer returns that was an outdoor cat and he passed away like three years ago and it's been a year since we got the two kitty cats and um uh we keep them um, we have a patio i sort of fixed up the patio so it's sort of like a catio they can't really escape even though one of them escaped last week so i had to close off an area so they basically roam around the patio and this morning at four o'clock in the morning uh 4 30 i got up i get up early and they're up like four o'clock so i i usually get up uh, with them they make a lot of noise and stuff and uh, I let them out into the patio right and when we let them out there was a mouse we have a mouse on our patio right there was a mouse last year as well but we have a mouse on our patio and it was climbing on the uh, grape vines and they were like <gasps> they were looking at it trying to get their hands on it right so I don't mind the kitty cats eating the mouse or killing the mouse right and they haven't got their hands on any birds that have come into the patio yet they're eating bugs uh, so the solution is keep them indoors right have a closed off area that they go and I know they destroy wildlife uh, I found that out after like I didn't really think about it until when we got these cats and it was like you know did a little research and went wow 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 kitty cats actually destroy uh, especially the uh, bird population right Bakul Dada what is your position on flat earth uh, I'm a geophysicist I studied I did seismics and stuff I'm pretty sure the earth is round and <laughs> rotates <laughs> lady k1 I grew up in a poor family I'm one of eight children wow well, I struggled through school was abused and couldn't concentrate I have learned more as an adult than I did in my early years. I really appreciate your words of wisdom. Now, thanks, Lady K. And Lady K, you're not alone. Uh, I'm sorry uh, there was abuse involved there. Unfortunately, there's a lot of kids that do experience that. But just to let you know, for me, even though I studied mathematics and geophysics and stuff like this, I really didn't understand mathematics until I started teaching it. So everything that I learned in high school and university, uh, it was more of a monkey see, monkey do. I learned a lot more as an adult. And I was able to take what I learned as an adult and incorporate it into my life. And I think one of the reasons for that is it was because of my choice of learning. I think that's why electives are really ridiculously important. Kids should not be forced to take anything other than mathematics and their natural language. The, the rest of it should be left up to them to decide what they want to study. And you offer a wide variety of things to learn. The world would be a much better place, much better place traveling bullies elder god yeah just imagine if you're the parent and a bunch of rotten sons of bitches right that are going to a private school is extremely well off their parents are paying like 30 grand a year to send these kids to school they send your kid a death threat and a picture of a gun oh man you do that this is in canada right you do that in iran the odds are the family of the other kid are going to come along and make you disappear you don't do that kind of shit in certain other parts of the world for some reason people in the western world and actually i guess in the whole world right now think that money buys them privilege to do whatever the hell they want to anybody else unbelievable unbelievable right evil on toast hey it's been a long time thanks for your help with math a long time ago really helped me out with my exams and i got into uni awesome evil on toast nice to see you again brother nice to see you again summer returns private schools are just better at getting you to memorize their shit yeah it's not like you learn anything more agreed yeah 
sometimes you learn worse things chicho in topo toxoplasmosis something to actually be scared of talk what's what is that toxoplasmosis toxoplasmosis did you just call it a catio yeah it's a catio <laughs> I got a it's a patio but it's a catio because I closed it off but there is a thing actually called the catio where you can build like little extensions to the house where it's for the cats for me on my patio I actually built a little catio and then I turned the patio into a full-on catio with little wired what do you call it the uh, um, chicken wire around it and stuff and in the mornings so twice this in the last two weeks two mornings now we've had a raccoon i've been had to shoo off a raccoon at like four o'clock in the morning that's trying to make it into our patio because they know there's like food here there's grapes here there's tomatoes here there's carrots here um so they're trying to make it up here <laughs> next year i'm gonna have to make it a little bit more foolproof Salah and Houdini. <laughs> Sal is Houdini, Elder God says. He will try again for sure. Yeah, I know he will. The little bugger. <laughs> Sleep away, Chicho. Oh my god, 4 30. What time do you go to bed? Last night I went to bed early. But no matter what, I get up late as 5, 5 30. No matter what time I go to bed. I like I like the mornings, man. Mornings are awesome. Joe Chicho our cat uh, brought home another bat a few days ago oh, no I hope the bat was dead I hope the bat was dead elder God retribution doesn't cost anything well unfortunately if you go too far you might be thrown in jail right so it's a delicate thing lady K, lady k1 in the 60s public school systems was meant to um, brainwash I don't believe I learned real history. No, In, and even now, Lady K One. Even now, it's total indoctrination, total indoctrination and brainwashing. It's garbage. Toxoplasmosis is an infection most cat owners get that can lead to a brain parasite that can change your personality. It is speculated to be the reason behind the crazy cat lady phenomenon. What? what summer returns what is this I, this is the first time i'm hearing about this how do you okay how do you contract this and how do you not contract this how do you protect yourself from this what brain parasite from kitty cats no don't tell me this cheryl toxoplasmosis i think it's more of an issue uh, for pregnant women than others it's just good practice to wash hands after handling litter or cleaning messes oh, i do thank god i do wash my hands and stuff but i didn't know this so even yeah, petting kitty cats oh my god what you got chicho scared monopoly money launderer chicho what's your views on taxes more tax taxes or less less taxes equal percent taxes for all or viable according to wealth are you satisfied with current tax breakup no i'm not satisfied with current tax breakup taxation is theft taxation of personal income is ta uh, theft as far as i'm concerned it shouldn't exist um it, they don't even come close to taxing equal right so the tax system is pure garbage it's meant to uh take money from the masses and give it to the top and that's our tax system right now Oh, cleaning up cat poo is what can infect you. Okay. Wash your hands and you're good. Wash your hands and you're good. Okay. The real one. Thank you. Um, and actually, we have my partner bought a cat pooper scooper. Like it's a it's a it's a it's a spaceship for for cats. It's their pooper. They go in there, poop, and after they leave, within like five minutes the cat pooper does a little it's like a spaceship rotates and cleans the poop and the poop goes into a, like a container in the bottom of the of this machine and then 
I don't I don't do cat flip clean <laughs> my partner uh, after and this can go like this for you don't need to clean it for like three days and then it's all in a plastic bag and then once it starts blinking you go in there and close the plastic bag and throw in the garbage so you're not even handling the pooper right wash hands so wash hands after handling kitty cats done deal done deal that's something I do so that's good Joe Chicho we've had our cat for years and I've never seen him take a dump so who knows where he does it <laughs> yeah our kitty cat too the one that was outdoors he would just go outdoor do his dump and come back that's it right summer summer tours to Joe if he's an outside cat hell do it outside and cover it up himself indeed they're good at cleaning themselves Joe certainly it's in our garden though our old cat used to do it in my mom's plant spot oh no we've never found any from our new cat so he must do it in uh, someone else's garden haha -ha. cat education time cat education time cat education time oh my god toxo what was that thing toxoplasmosis how common is this thing toxoplasmosis i hope not too common that's scary stuff man my god i don't want brain parasite and what happens if you get it can you get rid of the brain parasite giddy educate chicho on kitty cats <laughs> what's going on cosmoplasmosis what toxoplast cosmosis in brazil and france over half the population is infected apparently what half the people or half the cats <laughs> you, you're kidding right it can't be half the people and it can't be half the cats if half the cats are infected then the people are getting something to look into something to look into my god dias quote up to half the world's population infected by toxoplasmosis but have no symptoms in the united states oh my god i'm getting itchy in the united states approximately 11 percent of people are infected while in some areas of the world this is more than 60 percent <laughs> get lost what what summer returns toxoplasmosis is a parasitic infection common in france about 50 percent of adult population are infected usually without symptoms Wow, that's not cool. That's not cool. Toxoplasmosis. Well, grow forest rats with toxoplasmosis stop fearing cats and start desiring them. No, come on, grow forest. Really? <laughs> Craziness. Joe, one of the mice our cat brought in bit my brother as we tried to get it out. I believe he should uh should have gone and had a had a check but he didn't he was okay though yeah if a mouse bits bites you you gotta go get the the shot cyanide for dinner i've just watched uh train to bosan and this talk is starting to scare me <laughs> seriously cyanide for dinner and what a great movie train to bosan what a great movie korean zombie movie fantastic and number two was pretty good too man i like number two as well see the the drug that Martin uh, Screlia bought then up the price on by 750% treated toxoplasmosis really wow I'm feeling itchy all over now same here elder god what the hell <laughs> summer returns is speculated to lead to more dangerous behaviors like motorcycle riding etc too it can change your brain it might be the reason we fight uh find cats cute cosmoplasmosis is meant to infect rats and mice so they will come up to cats and let them kill them whoa nature is scary as fuck. really well i find my cats cute god damn it do i have co toxic cosmosis <laughs> i see that maybe i'm wrong i thought it was a rare Ill illness i see that it might be i don't know what this thing is maybe there isn't a cure 
shit i mean if 50 percent of Fr uh french have it that would explain uh you know their gusto and rising up against the fascist state right maybe the whole world should get it so they can rise up against fascism cat with parasite powers cat with parasite powers wow 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 the real one Whew. now i'm like <laughs> kitty cats stay away <laughs> thank goodness i'm allergic to cats seriously lady k1 what the hell summer returns is certainly not that harmful really just a bit creepy to think about just just a little bit just a little bit cyanide for dinner imagine the entire reddit site is conspiracy of people that like cats because infected by toxoplasmosis <laughs> hilarious yeah with the whole internet really what the hell pause of death sheesh yikes and you know what that's why cat cat emotes and stuff have become so popular most likely right everybody's at home petting their cats with toxoplasmosis loving cat cat memes and cat videos and cat pics can you get tested for this is there a way to get tested for this and seriously if you get tested for this if you have it is there a treatment for that cats control us not the other way around <laughs> some returns of grow force protozoa are evil incarnate uh -huh. Uh -huh. craziness craziness cats control us buys those big yellow gloves to pet <laughs> cats lady k1 says summer summertime returns quote the diagnosis of toxoplasmosis is typically made by uh sur serologic testing a test that measures uh immunoglobulin g lg lgg is used to determine if a person has been infected wow see that no i checked i'm right the pill uh peregrine to treat it was 1350 scrilla bought it then raised it to 750 a pill he's in jail now yeah that piece of crap right but the price of the pill hasn't dropped to 1350 has it joe rogan experience has an episode on it haha <laughs> no name boy uh, Summer returns quote most healthy people recover from toxoplasmosis without treatment persons who are ill can be treated with a combination of drugs such as py pyrometamine and sulfur dizzying plus fluoric acid end quote i guess you can recover naturally okay cool cool oh god see that this is crazy but he was live streaming and said he'd pay a fan thousands of dollars to get one of hillary clinton's hair so they <laughs> revoked his bail what serious that's that's why he's still sitting in jail elder god social distancing from cats almost an impossible challenge oh and that's maybe why they come up to you come on here's a little toxoplasmic virus what do you call it parasites that you can have that way you can find me cuter oh my god look at this randall all these kitty cats <laughs> hilarious horrible human being horrible human being itchy 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 man summer returns the cats will take control they're behind the uh, deep state <laughs> maybe maybe joe chicho are cats common in yeah, are cats common in iran i know that in turkey and other muslim countries cats are viewed as holy animals um i think a lot of places people have cats just because to control the pests right i know when we were in iran my grand grandparents had a cat that you know it's you control the pests right like rats and mice uh so it's a necessity of our society really and they're cute oh my god i got toxoplasmosis <laughs> oh god my nose is itching now too <laughs> girl force how are the female plants she showed doing good doing good assume they are um throwing uh 
pist pistols by now any standout smells or notable uh, stem uh, rubs um one of them is got nice buds on it already uh hopefully it remains sunny i'm gonna have to bring out the umbrella i've got a really big umbrella so because it might start raining if it's raining you got to protect them right so i might put up the umbrella if it starts raining so rain doesn't fall on the buds but one of them uh, has a lot of buds nice buds another one is beginning to give the buds and the other ones are slowly they're starting the flower face so they're looking good they're looking good need more caddy modes <laughs> gang don't forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a cat lover a publisher and a journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity for more information see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org or our julian assange and wikileaks playlist on censor 2. chicho you're not itchy you're not itchy. you're trying to hypnotize me seriously i'm itchy <laughs> <laughs> lady k1 perhaps a parrot would be good for me <laughs> hilarious randall decentralized cats up the yin yang <laughs> god damn it i'm really itchy <laughs> what kind of plants are we speaking we're speaking cannabis plants i have uh, in canada lady lady k1 are you growing we're allowed four plants are you growing your supply sleepy waves chicho what soil do you use i found that my uh seeding are not working uh in my current soil i use a mix of potting soil sea soil and the compost a city compost that we got but the compost this year they provided was uh, carbon rich so that's why we added the sea soil which is uh giving it more nitrates and stuff like this um, so they're going okay actually uh one of the cannabis plants doesn't like the soil mix that we have in there so it really depends on the strain as well right free julian elder god says joe chicho apparently in islam you can make uh ablution a ablution for prayer with the same water that a cat has drunk from Ooh, and they are allowed into mosques really interesting cats are fairly clean man but they carry this parasite that messes around with your brain <laughs> so i don't know about this thing <laughs> kyle m parker how are you doing hey chicho namasta namasta i hope i'm pronouncing namasta namasta no name boy if cats were a bit more heavy they would they would fuck us up if that's why cougars and lions and mountain lions and tigers are pretty serious beasts man i have three plants you got three awesome lady kill one yeah everybody should be growing everybody should be growing it's like growing printing money growing money right summer returns does smoking weed make you sleep better i feel i uh, it does but i've heard it makes you get less R uh, REMs yeah 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 you get less speed uh less uh, uh dreams right it's a dream suppressant cannabis right so you get l less rapid eye movement sleep so less REM sleep right and as far as for if cannabis makes you sleepy it depends on the strain it really depends on the strain high CBD in general doesn't right deep flake how are you doing welcome welcome to the end of another stream joe chicho have you tried your cats on catnip yet yeah we tried they're not really into the catnip it's weird does the catnip kill the parasite that they should <laughs> if it does i'm gonna give them bath and catnip the end the end deep flake we're at the end Damn. it's okay deep flake we're gonna do one tomorrow uh sourdough pancake philosophy and sourdough pancakes tomorrow from 11 till at least one or two okay Boop. allow that message auto mouth zapped it for some reason i like uh star dog love a lot very common you star dog i don't know star dog 
Kyle M. Parker, Chicho, I try to stay Zen, but I think I'm um, even angrier now than than when Trump was president. You should be. Anytime American lives are put in danger and information is suppressed like it is now, I get pissed. It seems like every president is more authoritarian than the one before. Indeed, indeed. Uh, but I can honestly tell you, Trump was less authoritarian than Obama, right? Trump dropped less bombs than Obama. Trump started less wars than Obama, right? Sanctions is war. For those of you who say Trump didn't start any wars, he started wars, right? Trump was stupid, ridiculous, right? Just for the record, for those of my say, I'm a Trump lover, I'm not. I don't like Democrats or Republicans. They're both the same shit, right? But if you're an American, if you're if you're a human being, if you're not pissed off at what's going on, you lost your heart okay elder god oldest cap got to age 38 years old i see sal lasting that long 38 years old no way elder god the oldest i've heard is like 18 years old 38 i sal needs to be protected from himself <laughs> he's a skate artist running around he needs backup deep flake anyone know what that is in uk time uh uk time eight hours ahead so pop up pop, pop, 7 p.m deep flake star dog is a sativa strain oh is it i've never tried star dog sativa dominant weed greater then you'll be curious uh curious indica dominant weed uh you'll be sleepy okay yeah so sativa more awake indica and, and the way you remember that indica in the couch in the couch is indica right so if you smoke indica or eat indica or consume indica you go into the couch you get sleepy i sent you a couple of pics of our pretty plants awesome lady k k1 and you're welcome to come our discord gang here's our discord page and we do have an entheogen folder there and you're welcome to share pics and stuff different color tie cats have a nine lives nine lives indeed your old cat lived to be almost 22 years old uk cats just but different gang let's call the stream go first in the couch haha -ha. that was an old carlin bit right i don't know <laughs> i don't know <laughs> see with chicho how do you know that there are no feds or popping eyeballs in discord there might be so be careful like we're not we're not selling anything we're just sharing information right Boop right assume assume in our dracorian fascist states that we live in right now assume everything's being monitored not that they're keeping tracks of what you're saying but everything's being recorded so if you hit the radar they can type in your name and all the data will appear and then they can manipulate that data any which way you want to make you look like a kitty cat if they want right not your type of work and deem radical yeah educating ed ed education is radical sleepy waves sleepy waves says sleepy waves i feel like your type of work can 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 be deemed radical education is radical especially mathematics there's a reason why i'm doing this because i want people to be informed have critical thought to question authority and centralized power and the best way to do that is to learn mathematics monopoly money launderer chicho did you hear about the isis k attack on uh on taliban no uh i heard about the attack in the airport let him look let him look cheryl says indeed as most deaf would say they're wishing there's a track that most deaf has has with talib kowal they put out it was it was from the album black on both sides i believe they put it out in 2000 and 2002 early 2000s anyway or late 1990s and they said oh all this csa and all these people they're basically just the thing is you know they want to they, they want people to believe that they know everything and the 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 verse there is they're wishing right they they wish they could understand everything that's going on they don't that's why they're trying to manipulate society on such a high level and it starts off from our education systems right indoctrination centers Rendell, make a kitty cat make me a kitty cat and i'll give you a dog. 
toxoplasmosis or whatever. <laughs> Hilarious. Oh god, I'm getting itchy again. I, I forgot about it. I wasn't itchy. Now I'm getting itchy again. Electra goes, Do you think that USA made a deal with Taliban before the army um, uh, army le left the country? Uh, why? How do you think they left hundred like billions of dollars worth of weapons? Hmm. Yeah, it's... But that's politics. We can talk about that tomorrow. Because this one we're going to load up to censor to, right? Monofi Ledger. Apparently ISIS is behind the Kabul attack. Taliban condemns it saying they warned US. Uh, who's working with who and who's against who? Mathematics by most death is always really good. Indeed, nowadays. Uh, no, no, no name point. Gang, a Monopoly money launder. Thank you for the info. And indeed, the shit show is just beginning. And if you ain't pissed, man, I don't know if you got a heart. Gang, thank you for being here. If you want to know what this is about, I am on Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash Chicho, C-H-Y-C-H-O. If you want to support this work, if you want to know what this work is about, which is basically layered on mathematics, check out Patreon. Everything's Creative Commons. Share and share alike. And for those of you that are supporting this work on Patreon, gang, thank you very much for the support. It is in large part because of your support that we're able to do this. And I, for one, thank you for being there. We are live streaming on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash chicho live, C H Y C H O L I B E. If you want to participate in the chat, ch -ch -ch -ch, Twitch is where you want to be at. Okay. And for those of you that are here participating in the discussion, sharing, liking, subscribing, uh, donating subscriptions to your one subscription, Randall, thank you very much. Thank you for being here. Thank you for the support, gang. And mods, thank you for taking care of business. We couldn't do this without you. And we all appreciate it. I do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on Mines, VK, Gab, Parlor, BitClout, and Getter. That's six of them. And we do have a Discord page where discord oops discord page you can come to our twitch channel anytime you want type in exclamation mark discord and the link will pop up there and there's 800 plus people sharing information there, talking conversing helping each other out on multiple folders different discussions we've got heavy topics we've got light topics you're definitely welcome to join us on the discord page okay for these live streams where we don't have any visuals it's more of a discussion we do upload the audio to soundcloud as a podcast and this audio this live stream will be uploaded to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho c h y c h o as a podcast and this podcast should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify and itunes and this live stream will be uploaded to SensorTube, to BitChute, to Rumble, and to Odyssey. Okay, so give me about a week, maybe longer, depending how long how long it'll take me to uh, cut up all the stuff and catch up with all the other live streams we're supposed to add on, including the four Julian Assange live streams that we did and previous two. Uh, current events live streams to a certain degree that we did and whatnot but the live stream will be on all these four platforms everything being loaded onto bitchu rumble and odyssey and select the most of the stuff being loaded onto sensor too but if you want to experience um everything know everything that we're doing you definitely want to be subscribing to bitchu rumble and odyssey because everything's not being loaded onto sensor too gang thank you very much for being here uh, lots of love and if you can make it tomorrow from 11 o'clock a.m pst pdt west coast canada my time philosophy and sourdough pancakes lots of eating and nice discussion bye everyone i hope you have a fantastic day